in London. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. Today marks exactly one month since Haiti's catastrophic earthquake. The devastated nation is set to mark the milestone with a national day of mourning. The government is holding a ceremony in Port-au-Prince to remember the dead. These numbers sum up the magnitude of Haiti's tragedy. It is now estimated more than 212,000 people were killed. It is obvious the world has rallied to assist Haiti in its time of need, but its reputation for rampant corruption is raising doubts about who will actually benefit from the massive influx of aid. As John Vos reports, those concerns are shared by locals as well as some international observers. Well, UN Special Envoy to Haiti, Bill Clinton, could be heading home from hospital in just a few hours. He was rushed into surgery late Thursday after complaining of chest discomfort. Jason Carroll joins us now live outside of New York Presbyterian. Well, China is reported to be stepping up its efforts to ensure safer food after the re-emergence of contaminated milk. Tainted milk powder killed at least six children in 2008. Reports say the government has come up with a new... Afghan and NATO forces are surrounding the last major Taliban stronghold in Helmand province. They are expected to begin a large-scale offensive at any time. Fred Pleitkin joins us now from CNN Kabul. What does this large offensive, this major offensive, what will it look like? Iran's supreme leader issues words of thanks as his country marks the 31st anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. State-run Press TV says Ayatollah Ali Khamenei directed that message to those participating in pro-government rallies. As Reza Sayah reports, opposition groups were kept away from Tehran's main rally site. Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei. Let's get a check now of uh, the weather forecast for you. It is the countdown to the Winter Olympics uh, opening ceremony in Vancouver. But of course, the big question is will the games have enough wintry weather? Mari Ramos is tracking everything for us and joins us again. Mari? Hey, Monita. Yeah, that is the big question. You know. Well, the 60th edition of the Berlin Film Festival is underway. Neil Curry is in the German capital with more on why this year's Berlinale is destined to make headlines. The city's. And I'm Monita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next with a look at what you can expect at the Winter Olympics in Vancouver.